Welcome, we serve the Almighty Goddess. Before you meet with the Holy Myria, please hear our words. Okay. Oh, and I'm still getting into encounters? Alright. Oh my god, that's a lot of bats. Can I just... No. Darn it. I was really hoping I could just run from this. Cause I don't want to deal with these guys. Like, it would be one thing if it was just the one battle, but like, if it was just a couple of them, that would be one thing, but I don't want to deal with four enemies here. Thank you. Alright, let's just throw some vitamins on him. There we go. Yeah, I really wish I could buy things. I wouldn't be as stingy with uh, my AP restore items if I found any way to buy them but I've only been able to find ways to steal them. The Holy Myria awaits for you ahead. I'm aware. You said to talk to you before... we go see her. Okay, well... All right. Oh, okay. Before the coming of Myria, the world was dying. The wounded earth was being covered by sand the very life was being sucked out of its inhabitants. Oh, this looks a lot like the steel ship. The grieving... or the, uh... The ship on Steel Beach. This looks like the interior of it. The grieving mirror used all of her divine power to divide the world into two halves. One half being where you are now, the Desert of Death, and the other... The world you came from, overflowing with life. Alright. I mean, so far so good. So far I haven't seen that she's really... Aside from trying to kill all the dragons, so far I haven't seen that Miria has really done anything that bad. Aside from, you know, trying to kill all the dragons, but... Dragons and Myria have a very sordid history to begin with. The two worlds are separated by the vast and violent ocean you call the Outer Sea. Which protects your world from the desert. Alright. Still really hoping there's going to be a heal point, but I don't think there will be. The majority of life that escaped death was taken, like yourselves, to the other world. Can I go this way? No. Can I go over here? I can, but there's nothing over here. Alright, fair enough. So I guess they want me to go this way. So at this point, we're just kind of in the lore portion, I take it. Okay. It is Myria's desire to protect life, to protect your world. Even a monster's life is sacred to Myria. Okay. This does not sound like the Myria I am familiar with from the uh, first game, but sure. In order to protect the life she loved, Myria instituted many forms of safeguards and controls. Okay. I think we are now getting into it. Foremost among these is the control of technology. Alright. Mira makes certain that no dangerous machines, like weapons, are developed. So she's controlling the uh, progression. Mira only allows the use and repair of existing machines and keeps the study of machines from leading to potentially destructive ends. So she's controlling progress in the hopes of preventing destruction. Oh, there's a door here. 
but there's more to go through this way. I wonder if that door would let me heal. If they have another person pop up over here. Um, this looks like a lift. It is a lift. Okay. Oh, that's my prana. Okay. If they allow me to, I'm going to go back and go through that door. Hi. Ray. Nina. Momo. Guardian Gar. And Ryu. This lady appeared in my dreams uh, when I was a child. As did adult Tipo, I'm pretty sure. My brave and strong children who have crossed the violent ocean and the burning desert. I bet that door was a heal point. Darn it. I am Miria. Oh, great and mighty goddess. We have journeyed seeking you so that we may know the truth. Oh, goddess, please tell us. Why did the brood have to be destroyed? Is there anyone who wishes the destruction of life? I certainly do not. However, the power of the brood was too great. Too great for my small, small world. I mean, yeah, the brood have sealed you like twice now. This side of the world is almost entirely buried by sand, making it almost impossible for anything to survive. Life has been driven nearly to extinction. Yeah, but we used to have, like, warping technology between the continents and shit. Which was really cool. I have to preserve what little life is left. Okay. I had to save the rest of the world. From the danger called the Brood. But the brood, what did the brood do to say, to show that they were dangerous to the world? Aside from, you know, fighting you in the previous games. So what you're saying is we should just sit back and let you take care of us. Like we were your babies or something, right? Well, that's exactly it, Ray. If I did not hold, ba hold it back using the outer sea as a shield, the desert would slowly, inevitably spread across the entire world. If I did not continue to create the machines that are repaired and used worldwide, civilization as we know it would surely perish. But while we don't have the means now, someday we might be able to build our own machines. If the world were covered by sand, your lives would be consumed with the struggle to survive. You would not be able to build anything. Even if you succeeded in creating the machines you needed, can you say with certainty that we would not also build a weapon with which you might be used to destroy yourselves, Momo? In the past, this world was large. Larger than you can imagine. Many people once lived here on Kerjan. Again, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but... But the people fought and quarreled, and the city was swallowed by the desert. I was unable to protect them. I will not make the same mistake again. I will protect you and all the life that is left. Well, I understand what you're trying to say. We're weak. And we do need help and protection. And the power of the brood may be similar to the power that destroyed this city so long ago. But what are you saying we should do? Are you saying that Ryu has to die? Or they has to spend the rest of his life locked up in some little room? In an artificial world? Like Tipo? No kidding. I don't like the fact that this is all being controlled by you. That you're pulling all the strings. 
I'm just a little kid, see? If you tell me to sit still, it just makes me want to want to run around more, yeah? Oh, goddess. We have no desire to give Ryu up to you. Nor do we wish to see him killed. Having traveled with him, I can say that I do not believe that the power of the brood is as fearsome and dangerous as you claim it to be. I'm shocked that nearly the entire world is covered by sand. But with Ryu, with our power working together, maybe, just maybe, Myriad does not like being gone against. We learned that in the first game. Enough, children. I admire your bravery and courage, Ray. There is no need to worry. I will erase your memories of this place and simply return you to where you belong, Momo. Well, my strength is admittedly small, but it's all you have to live with. Do you understand, Nina? Thank you for bringing Ryu here, Guardian Gar. Your mission is now complete. And then there's the little Yggdrasil. Pico? What about me, Miria? You didn't call my name. Don't you know who I am? You... You're Yggdrasil? You won't be able to get away with this. Not while I'm around. All I'm doing is leading my children by the hand. Giving them a world that they can live in. Miria. These so-called children crossed the entire world just to get here and overcame myri the myriad of barriers that you set before them, all for the sake of helping their friend. Ryu? Very well. We will let Ryu decide then. What do you want to do? If you give up your power, the world will continue to live under my protection, as it has until now. Your power, which has brought you here, is too big for the world. Like the other brood once did. Accept your fate, my Ryu. Uki, Ryu, you have to believe in yourself, and those who believe in you. Tell the truth, I'm really frightened. We're not strong at all. If you say, if you go against fate, something awful might happen to the world. But, I've always believed you weren't a bad dragon. I always believe that no matter what happens. I'm not really getting a good case here for Ryu's side, honestly. Like, yes, Miria has been controlling this world, but she's been protecting it. Uh, she's been doing what she feels is necessary to protect the world. Like, as far as we know. Like, if I hadn't played the first game at all and known near Miria as the goddess of fucking destruction... Uh, I would be holding nothing against her at all here. And who knows, maybe she's changed her ways. Literally the only bad thing that we have going against her right now is that she killed the brood. That's it. That's all we got. Which Ryu himself doesn't seem to really care about. Because it really doesn't have anything to do with him. He's just trying to live his life. So, really... Like... Yeah, it sucks that she's trying to control everything, and what she did to Tipo is awful. But... 
in the grand scheme of things, she's not really doing anything terrible. And I don't really see what we will achieve by killing her other than stopping the control. Give up the power of the brood, leave a peaceful world, watched over by the goddess. Or believe in the power of the brood and travel into the empty desert, where unknown danger dangers await. Will they actually give me the choice? They do actually give me the choice. Okay, so I can get... I'm certain that giving up my power will give me the bad end. Uh, and choosing my own path will give me the good end. Now, I really wish I had looked in that other room, because that probably gave me a save point. But I did have a save point really close to this. I don't know how long this episode's been going. I'm going to choose give up my power and then probably come back here uh, in a minute. So I'm going to I'm going to go with this. Carrying the fate of the world is too much for Ryu. If giving up the power of the brood will allow the world to stay the same, then that's the best choice. You've made the right choice. And we've seen that the brood can live without we've seen that every clan can live without their blood power. Like, most of the clans have lost their blood abilities at this point. Including all of Dragnir. They're just living like normal people. Ryu can also live like a normal person. Or maybe Miria is just going to take him away. That works too. Alright. Ryu chose, of his own free will, to give up the power of the brood and stay with the god- Oh, I didn't know I would be staying with god as Miria, but okay. So I've just replaced Tipo. And so time passes. Unchanging. Yeah, basically, do we choose to keep the world in its little stasis? Or do we choose to change the world, possibly for the better, possibly for the worse? Because Mira was just kind of holding it in status quo. Okay, so there is an ending. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, meet you guys back. Yep, that, that was an ending. All right. Well, I'll meet you guys back at that decision point. Uh, and we will see what happens when I go the other way. I'm gonna guess it's a boss fight. Okay, so I'm back at this point. Let's see what's through this door. Second control is achieved through the energy of Chrism. Oh, okay, so this was just more lore that we didn't see. Prism ore is the fossilized remain of living beings. Like the dragons. Is this the real reason she killed the dragons? So that she could create prism to power things for her world? <laughs> Transmuted by the blessed power of the divine Myria. Okay, so she turned the dragons' bodies into prism. See, prism ore is no more than one of the ways that Mirai provides the world with her magical energy. I was really hoping that this would be a heal room. All right, good to know. There is not a heal room. Time to use all of the items. And then I will see you guys back at that decision point because you don't need to watch that again. All right, we're back at decision time. A decision to which the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Also, uh, I did think off screen, uh, if Miria cares so much about the world, then why did she give powers like Ray's ability to turn into a were tiger, or uh, whatever his name's ability to turn into a giant demon? Uh, the guy who was leading the um, the underground turn into a giant demon to destroy things. Like she's she's created a lot of weird and dangerous powers to random people for someone who seems to uh, really value life. Ryo realized he couldn't give up his power. Also, Dias, very strongly, uh, did not care for Miria's actions and was sealed for it. Then again, we really, aside from what we know from the previous games, we really don't know a whole lot about Dias in this one. But more importantly... He felt that if he gave up his power, he would no longer be himself. 
Do you realize what it is that you are trying to do? Do you? By making me your enemy, you realize you're making the whole world your enemy, don't you? I have faith that you, that the brood, are not so foolish. Come, lower your weapon. You realized it was foolish to challenge a god, but he held his ground. Look, the brood has defeated Myria before, at least twice. Your great power has driven you mad. What of those who do not have such great power like the Brood? They can't live without my protection. The world lived without your protection just fine. Like, I don't know what caused this desert to start devouring the planet, and I do appreciate you separating it. But the world was living just fine without you for a while, for a long time. Or at least it was in the first game. The Brood truly are a danger, a threat to the world. I haven't done anything threatening to the world. <laughs> it just means that life is no longer content to live in the little cage that you made for it. Yggdrasil, no matter what you say, I will protect this world for the sake of all life on it. Myria, life in your world has been protected from the desert and death, but that's not the same as living. Ryu, son of the accursed brood, time for talk has ended. If you will not change your mind, it grieves me to harm you, but I have no choice. For the good of the world, you must die. I don't think I'm going to die. All right, choose a party member to fight the goddess. Sorry, Gar. Uh, we already know the winning party here. Are they going to let me choose the form? Good. Chain form. Ray on top. There we go. Alright, let's do this. It pains me. It grieves me, my children, that I must take up arms against you. Against the very life I have sworn to protect. But you must understand, Ryu. I can't let you, your power, roam free in this world. This is going to be a really long episode. Oh well. To protect the lives of my other children, I must become into a fury. Farewell, my children. Are we going to see Miria's true form? Oh wow, we're actually going straight into it. Uh, in the first game, you had to use... Well, Kaiser in this game. You had to use Infinity uh, to see her true form. Uh, in this one, I think she's going straight to it. Alright. Here we fight. The Goddess of Destruction. Well, just the, I suppose just the Goddess in this game. But Myria herself. Alright, so we're going to start with a Warshout. And then Ryu is going to start with a attacks on everyone. And Momo, I want you to speed up Ray. We know the strats. We're just going to do all of our buffing first. And then I'm tempted to go into Kaiser. As long as I can continue to throw... Uh, I'm tempted to go into Kaiser, but my... Goodness, it uses AP quickly. It might actually be easier to just stick with Myrmidon. Myrmidon won't do as much damage as Kaiser Shadow Walk, but I can last a lot longer. Okay, she's going to use Sirocco. Shouldn't do a whole... Well, Sirocco is wind and fire. So... Okay, so yeah. If it was just fire, uh, it would have healed Ryu, but since it was wind and fire, it did, uh, it was neutral on him. So, or it was, uh, just not effective. Okay, so let's speed you up. I want everyone to have extra turns. Now, on this turn, we are going to speed you up. 
Momo, I want you to go ahead and use a Vitalize on the party. And Ryu... Oh, I can use Bone Break now! Let's do it! Increase your speed. Now everyone should be sped up, so everyone should get extra turns. Yeah, did a bunch of damage. Inferno! Okay, that won't hurt Ryu at all, but that will hurt everyone else. No, that actually was not bad at all. Okay, so Ray at this point... Eh, I don't know if she's going to carry anything, but let's try it. Um, let's go ahead and ascend. I think I am going to go with the Myrmidon. And just to make sure, uh, let's go with a Fortel. It might be worth it to use... Uh... Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, she's just kind of neutral. Doesn't have any specific weaknesses. It's what I figured, but I thought I'd check. She does carry something. Neat, okay. Well, um, I think it's actually going to be more useful for me to use... Start using barrier on people. Um, I'm going to try an aura breath. I don't think it's going to be as effective as just punching, but let's let's give it a shot. Um, and then you, what do you have? Not, not a whole lot else that's actually going to be very useful to me, honestly. Uh, just heal yourself. Top yourself off there. Let's see what Aura Breath does. Not a lot. Got it, just punch her. I wonder if this is a fight where they actually want you to use uh, Infinity. They did in the other games, so it might actually be appropriate to switch into Infinity for this particular fight. Uh, yeah, I probably should just do that. Uh, let's raise your magic defense next. You know what? Yeah. We're... I know I just switched into this form, but I'm actually going to switch out of it. And I'm going to instead go and use Infinity, because this is literally what it's made for. It is made to fight this boss. And I'm going to go with the true Infinity, even though it uses up a lot of AP. I've got two people here that can restore AP, so I'm not that worried about it. I have Wisdom Fruits, which are like 100. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to get one more barrier up. Um, and then we are going to heal. And Ryu, we are going to ascend. And we are going to go with the full, the full Monty. All right, get everyone's magic defense up a little bit here. And Kaiser. All right. So Evil Eye can paralyze, but it didn't work, cool. So, Ray, at this point, I want you to go back to trying to steal from her. Ryu. Eh, let's just do a Kaiser Breath, just because. And Momo, increase the attack. Because I don't know if switching Dragon Form actually resets his... Uh, his uh, status buffs. I feel like it might, but I'm not certain. Well, that was really bright and painful. All right, good to know. Not doing that again. Uh, I want you to actually go ahead and charm on this turn. Ryu. 
Oh, I could focus into a shadow walk. That would do a lot of damage. Hmm. Yeah, that might not be a bad plan. Let's focus into a shadow walk. And... You know what? No, let's not. Let's just, let's just frickin' hit her. We've been, we've been moseying around here for long enough. Let's just hit the lady. And where are my seeds? Seeds, seeds, seeds. Now, I don't know if this boss is going to have an additional form or not. Uh, that is one thing I am kind of concerned about using all my AP at this point. But, oh yeah, there's the damage. But, you know, I gotta hit her at some point, so let's just do it. Might as well increase my rate of item drop. Okay, she's gonna go with Blizzard. That didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, let's go back to stealing. I should be able to take another hit. Just the fact that she's not been doing a whole lot of damage to me. The fact that so far, Tipo was proving more dangerous than this girl is what makes me feel like there's probably going to be an additional form to this boss. Uh, I'm going to start focusing into the Shadow Walk. Just because it's a better use of my AP. Uh, and I'm going to use another Wisdom Seed on Ryu. I have to be a little bit more conservative with my uh, AP in this form because I'm losing 27 per round instead of losing 8. That's creepy. Didn't do a whole heck of a lot, but it's creepy as heck. Okay. Well, Shadow Walk and attack. Oh, yeah, 3,000. She keeps pausing when she gets hit, and that keeps making me think that maybe I've won the battle. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna go back to focus into the shadow walk. We're gonna use another wisdom seed just to maintain this form. I am getting the impression that I probably could have just stuck with my uh, Myrmidon and probably have been fine. Frankly, I'm finding so far in this game, for the most it, for the most part. Myrmidon is just all around the better form to go for. Uh, just because this uses so much AP to maintain. But, yeah, whatever. And then we'll Shadow Walk. And I'm gonna go ahead and Vitalize here. I'm assuming that there's got to be a second form to this boss, because so far it's not been particularly frightening. It just has a lot of AP, lot of HP. Still couldn't steal anything. Alright. Well, we're just gonna keep uh, rinse repeating. I am starting to run low on AP recovery, but I do have the Wisdom Fruit, which also, which heal a uh, hundred. Grabbed a napalm. Thanks, game. Well, good to know that she doesn't give anything like super... Oh, that did a lot of damage this time. Alright. Well, that's neat. Let's just see if I can get a critical. And let Shadow Walk and then Momo can... Rejuvenate would probably be sufficient. Yeah, that's probably fine. 3,000 damage. Okay, let's hit her. Focus. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Wisdom Fruit this time. See, my concern is that there's going to be an additional form, and I'm not going to have any AP to deal with it. That is my actual concern here. 
Restore. How much are you healing? 300. I can deal with that. I'm actually gonna focus again. And then just shoot it. Not carrying any- oh, that's right. I didn't need to uh, pilfer there. She's not carrying anything. So I already stole from her. Alright. Just attack. Ryu. Do a shadow walk now. Because that should do quite a bit of damage. 4,000. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think single single focus is probably the most effective. I think she's doing more damage at the more damage I've done to her. Which is interesting. Well, let's focus and... Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and restore. It might be worth it to have Ray use another uh, shield on the team. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. And then Ryu, Shadow Walk, Momo Attack. Okay, I think we got her. Cool. Now the real question, will she have an additional phase? Or was that it? I feel like there's got to be another phase, right? Okay, this was not the party I had, but sure. It's over. No. For you, it's just the beginning. It was a long and hard journey. But we did the right thing, didn't we, Ryu? You mean killing the goddess? Gar? As a guardian, my life must end. Here with the goddesses. Time to die. Well, that's true. The only reason he's still alive right now is because of the goddess's power in him. Walk your own path. Was that actually the final boss? My world. I tried, but it wasn't enough. I fear the world will be destroyed again. What should I have done? What could I have done? If there is a god, answer me. What should I have done with the brood? Sister? Yep, they're sisters. Oh, it's all for the best, Miria. You've protected this world until now. I guess that was the final boss. Honestly, it was a little anticlimactic compared to Ratipo, but okay, sure. You went too far in your attempt to wipe out the brood. Yeah, she was doing a really good job until she tried to wipe out the brood. In the end, that was something that your children had to overcome, to go beyond, in order to walk on their own. We're walking very nonchalantly for a place that probably exploding. Did the door just close on us? Because we definitely weren't going fast enough to get through those doors. Don't worry. They can take care of themselves better than you think. They, and the world are stronger than we think. By the way, I still don't forgive you for sealing me. I'm sure of it. I think Dias just died with her sister. 
So Dias and Miria are both part of the Endless Clan. Or at least I believe that's what they're called. Um, they are essentially immortal. And yeah, they're basically gods. Uh, Dias was our party member in the first game, a hidden party member in the second game, uh, and a master in this one. Oh, well, that, that hurt. Okay, please don't do that again. And we're walking through the desert? Yep, we're walking through the desert. Look at that animated man. That's the closest we've ever gotten to Ryu. Okay, we're actually seeing, like, full models instead of, like, in-game models. We've got actual cutscenes. This is amazing. We've got pre-rendered cutscenes, not in-game model cutscenes. This is a first for this game. Well, aside from, I guess, uh, when you first start up the game and it shows you the mural across the wall. Because everything else has been using the in-game sprites. Nina definitely could not, would not be able to fly with those wings. They're basically just there for decoration. Well, we're now in a world that is no longer protected by the goddess, which means the production of the machines will stop. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's about it. Uh, she was also the one for creating, or she was also the one creating Chrism um, from mostly the dead brood. But yeah, that uh, that was Breath of Fire three. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, Honestly, I, I, I thought we were going to have, like, an additional boss fight, but whatever. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> um, so I, I know I didn't really show off everything. I like to try and show everything in, the, in these games when I can. Any, any game I do on here, I want to try and show everything if I can. And I know I didn't quite do that with this one, because I was near the end here. I've been trying to rush through it due to technical difficulties. And I wanted to make sure I actually was able to finish the game. Uh, and not, you know, have my computer completely crap out on me and have to, like, re redo this all on the physical console now that I have the ability to do that. I don't want enough to put another 60 hours into this game just to get back to this point. <laughs> um, so the only thing I really didn't show that I kind of wanted to was what you get from DS and from Layden. Um, so I'm actually just going to look that up real quick so I can tell it to you guys. So, for Layden, which we definitely got all the levels to do, uh, well, actually, I guess that's a little bit of an exaggeration. We got all the levels to do it barely. We were, like, I think two levels ahead of the amount we needed for him. But anyway, we get, uh, at three levels with him, you get Mind's Eye, which ra raises your uh, to-hit percentage temporarily. So it increases your accuracy, which is pretty neat. Uh, after that, you get Holy Strike, which is a holy attack. Uh, Myrmidon comes equipped with that, but that would have actually been a pretty good one to have, just in general. Uh, at seven levels, you get Ward of Light, which raises your defense and increases your counterattack rate. So that one that one would be pretty good too, uh, just mostly for the counterattack. Um, and finally, you get Aura, which is another one that Myrmidon uh, comes with. Um, actually, all of the warrior forms come with it. Um, it's a holy attack on one target, and it has two times power. It also costs 20 AP to use. But you can just have that now. So, Leiden does give you really good skills. It's just, you know, they cost a lot to use, and otherwise he's not a super great master, but he does have really good skills. Uh, let's see. The other one was Dias. Here we go. So, at two levels, you learn Inferno, which would have been... All of these pretty much would have been good ones to get for Nina, but I didn't. Uh, then again, I really didn't use Nina very much. Honestly, Nina is fun. She's really good at wiping out teams, 
but in an actual boss fight, she's way too squishy. She just dies in one hit, and there's nothing you can do about it. She's honestly not that great in this game, which is really sad, because she is, she is really fun. Uh, anyway, so DS at two levels teaches you Inferno, which is fire on all enemies. It's the top level fire magic in this game. Uh, at level at five levels, she teaches you Blizzard, which is the ice version. After that, she teaches you Molnir, which, weirdly enough, is it is the top level uh, electric magic. But weirdly enough, it's the only top level magic that only hits one opponent. It's also the only electric move that hits one opponent. So that's just kind of interesting. Uh, at, at eleven level, she teaches you Soraka, which is a wind and fire attack on all enemies. And at fifteen levels, her final move is Celerity, which increases all of your abilities, and it's usable at fixed time. Um, now, usable at fixed time is the same sort of thing that Bonebreaker had, so I'm not really sure how that function works, but yeah, uh, it gives you the ability to learn, or it uh, increases all your abilities. Did Pico plant himself? I think Pico planted himself. Either that or that's just, you know, a general sprout. I think Pico planted himself to try and uh, repair the desert and make it a livable world again. Because we did learn from the Yggdrasil when we got to this side of the world that Myria cut this part of the world off. That Yggdrasil is the only Yggdrasil on this side of the world. She cut him off from all the rest. And clearly, Myria has some issues with Yggdrasil that they never went into in this game, and I don't know what it's about. But anyway, we defeated the goddess. Supposedly, the world can start progressing now. And that's Breath of Fire 3. I am probably not going to jump into Breath of Fire 4 right away. I'll probably do something else first, but... The next series I do, I should be able to do on its original console, so we won't have all these technical hiccups anymore. Thank goodness. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Look forward to what I do next, and I guess I will see you in our next episode as we do that. Thank you for playing Breath of Fire 3. Save your game here, and try to fight the goddess again. Sure, I'll save. Why not? Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care.